Hey guys, this video is going to be about um, how I usually research keyword tools. I know you'll probably see promotions of 100 tools, but the simple fact is that I and a lot of people that I know that are actually making money online just use a simple Google keyword tool because you really don't need much more. So, this is the keyword tool. As you you probably seen it before, and here I put uh, first keyword. Then I made sure to check exact, and I did a search. Um, location is Canada. That's where I live. It doesn't really matter for me though, because I usually just look at global personally because I'm always going for English words. But the language and the location. Well, this is something that you should. Uh, change depending on what you're aiming for. I'm usually always aiming for the US market so uh, I don't really care. I just leave it in English and it's the normal settings are fine. Okay so I have this video editing software and this gives you 800 more keyword ideas. I usually like to reduce them a bit by putting a little uh, filter here. Uh, let's say at least 500 minimum Okay, so that reduced it to 230. So then from this list, I wrote video editing software is way too broad, but best professional video editing software, that's pretty good. So I'd click on it, go back here, good video editing software, uh, free video editing se uh, software could be good too. Uh, the thing with free video editing software is you might think there's nothing to sell with it, but you might either make a page about it uh, and you'll get a lot of search results. Like, let's say you're number one for that, 74,000, that's a lot of traffic. I'm sure some of them might eventually upgrade to a paid version. Or the free video editing software that you might offer might be a trial, like a 30 day trial. Or it has like a, a basic trial and you can uh, upgrade later on. And usually these software have a built-in code that if they upgrade later on, then you get um, the commission off that. You'll have to double check that, of course. And if it's your own software, then it's great because the profits are there. You're sure that the profits are directly coming to you. So top video editing software. Yeah, that's good. You can make a page about, um, obviously, the top five video editing softwares you used. Review, kind of the same thing. Okay, so going down this list, I can find a lot of keywords that I would uh, probably match together, really. So what I'd do is I'd um, select them. Actually, I should have done that as I was looking down the list at the beginning. Just select them, the ones that look interesting. Okay, so I'll just go uh, top 10. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, that's good. That's great. So here I'll go download and selected. Um, CSV for Excel, whatever, I don't think it matters. Okay, save, open. Okay, so here I'll just um, class them together and uh, I'll pause the video and while I think about how I would want to uh, group them. Okay, so that was quick. So basically all of these uh, three keywords, I got a couple of good uh, page suggestions. So one will be about basically the best video editing software you used. Um, you could, I guess, try to pitch it to people, sell it, um, show them how you to use it, like how you personally use it. And here you have uh, the global monthly searches. Actually, I always remove this competition column. This is for people that do AdWords and we're doing SEO for this specific search, so it's not important for us. And also remove local. Okay, so you have uh, CPC here. And uh, we're going to a bit, uh, we're going to check this CPC info a bit more in detail um, in a few minutes. So the second page would be basically about a free video editing software. And I would try to group all these keywords for this um, this page. It might be a long page, like maybe you have a more than one option, right? Depending on what you want to do. And then there would be a third page, which would be 
uh, top video editing software probably a top 10 thanks to this keyword and I would basically have reviews of the top 10 video editing softwares and this will all combine to make a nice page okay so right there you already have three solid pages to uh, start this website on I would definitely look for more but um, I'm sure that would be really easy to do especially because you can make pages about all the different video editing softwares like here you might have a on this page you might have a brief review but they could all link to um, another page that's a software review like I think a video editing software that's really popular is Sony Vegas, if I'm correct. So you could have another page that's like Sony Vegas video editing review or whatever, or just Sony Vegas review. So this page would link in the top 10, like one of the top 10 softwares would link to this one. And I'm sure that's a search. Actually, I'll test it. And uh, we'll see what we get. I might have like spelt the, the search wrong. Okay, so there's 590. It's not that much. Should sure people checking for a review? Hmm, the version numbers are uh, sometimes very popular. Though so you have to remember one thing. When you look for uh, keywords like review, you'll have a lot less searches, but usually these people are much more interested in actually buying the product so maybe like 50 percent of these people will buy the product and you get a cut while of this of the people searching for I don't know Sony Vegas Platinum maybe only 10 percent of the people are interested in uh, buying it it's less likely to be the case for this specific um, keyword because think people that are searching for Sony Vegas like this are already interested in uh, buying it but it's a good general uh, rule of thumb that going for the review keywords usually more people will uh, buy the product if they agree with the review and of course I always try to make genuine re reviews um, you know if you can build a really genuine website people will keep going to it and will respect your information so you really have to think about the long term you know everyone can scam reviews and make a shitty website with fake reviews hoping people will buy the product but it takes a lot more time to build a website where you've tried the products and you gave your honest recommendation and over time people will keep coming back to your website because they trust your opinion it's a long term process but there's way more chances that it'll pay off and that you'll uh, You'll survive the years. So here I'll uh, just quickly do um, um, an example of how I check the competition. So this is the SEO Quake plugin. Um, in this instance, it's for Chrome, but they have it for Chrome or Firefox. And if you have Internet Explorer, then you should uninstall it or never use it again, actually, because I think you can't even uninstall it from the base windows. So here I did a quick PR check and this one, which is links to the page, which is what I'm mostly interested about. Sometimes I also check links for domain, but usually I'm just more interested in the page, really. So from what you can see here, the first one is pretty competitive. PR5, 590 links. That's uh, pretty big. PR2, 91 links. No PR, 16 links. Here you have a PR3 460 links. So overall, this looks like a semi competitive uh, keyword, though here there's not that much competition. But you have to be careful because this website is uh, cnet.com, uh, CNET whatever, I don't know how to say it. But, anyways, it's a big authority site, and you guys have probably all downloaded some stuff off there. So while they have no PR and a low backlink count, they have a lot of uh, authority and their age is probably uh, long. Yeah, November 27, 1999. 
So this kind of tells you that it's an authority site. However, I think it is possible to compete with this keyword. It might just take a while. And at the same time, if you go back to the list, you're competing for a lot of keywords. Like for each page, you're competing for a lot of these keywords. And as a quick preview on um, how I'd make the pages, honestly, I would probably take like here. This one is the most searched. Unless the competition looked really heavy on this one and very low on this one, I would use this one as my title. And um, maybe not this as di like as my direct title, but I would have this keyword in the title. Though professional video editing software this is a decent title, but maybe you could think of something that's more um, engaging. So I'd mention this in the title, maybe once or twice in the text, and I would mention these other keywords once or twice in the text as well. And now the final thing. So how to um, verify the CPC. This is really important. Um, because honestly the CPC you see sometimes high numbers, you see lower values like 0 0.35 cents, but the truth is it's probably all around a dollar. And we'll go verify that right now. So this one is two dollars. So what you want to do is here, you want to check the contextual targeting tool. I have it open here. So I'll do this. And as you can see, yep, the CPC is around a dollar. Because the contextual targeting tool is basically made for CPC for people putting AdSense on a web page. While the CPC here is the one that's used for the Google uh, search tool. And usually they know that if you have a web page around this team, you're targeting, like people might be interested in a lot of other keywords that they'll see on the page. And for some reason, it usually always averages out around a dollar. I'll give you another example like this 23 cent one. Like I'm betting this one will be higher too in the contextual targeting tool. And yep, once again, around a dollar. And a few of them are a tiny bit of a, above. So yeah, uh, honestly for the CPC, I would always almost evaluate them to be about a dollar. Just if it's really low and it's like one of the main keywords for your new website, just double check it right here. Make sure it's at least a dollar. And if it's a dollar, then it's good to go. If it's lower than a dollar, then uh depends on the traffic. I mean, if it's like a one, one million visitors, and it's 10 cents CPC. Uh, well, 1 million visitors is a lot of traffic. So even if it's a 10 cents CPC on this page, which I highly doubt, but let's say it, it was for some reason, um, it's still a good keyword to take if you could uh, compete with it. Okay, well, that's it for um, keyword uh, uh, research. I still use the Google Keyword Tool almost once or twice a week when I have an idea and I just want to quickly check it out. So basically I'll just go down the list, um, see if the keyword is actually well searched and if it is then I'll quickly check the competition, see oh yeah okay, mm, number one looks hard, number two, three, oh, pretty good, pretty good, could rank for it. Then I would double check the contextual targeting tool of the, the main keyword I'm interested in, making sure it's at least a dollar. And then once the main keyword I'm interested in making a website about is like uh, cleared basically, then that's when I would look for all these other uh, supporting keywords. And for these ones, I wouldn't waste time doing the contextual CPC thing. All I would do is make sure that they have at least 500 searches. And I would, for the most like highly searched ones, like let's say the 74,000 one, 27,000 one, 6,000 one, these three, I would um, quickly check the competition because those are like worth the time to see if uh, which ones I have a good chance of competing in. When it's like a thousand or less, um, I don't care. I'll just add the keyword. You know, maybe I'll rank for it in a year. Maybe I'll rank for it instantly because I was lucky and the competition is really low. Uh, it's just not going to waste time researching that really. So that's it for researching keywords. Um, a lot of people make it more uh, complicated than it truly is. Um, I hope I made it as uh, showed it as simple as like it is for me at least. 
And honestly, it's really simple. It's, it's just about finding ideas. And that's the complicated part, really. But no software can really help you find these ideas. I mean, it's easy to try to sell a software that tells you, oh, use my software and it's going to drill down a million keywords. And you'll find the winners in it. But ultimately, it's all about just having an idea that might come from what you've seen today walking down the street, your passions, your hobbies, and you just start from there and find something. Okay, guys, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask.